Welcome back guys to another beer review, the final beer review of uh, Friday night. And we've got a Belgian one coming up. Uh, I've done a few of their beers recently. Now I'm not sure what this is. I'm guessing this is one uh, a bit of one of their special brews or I don't think it's a quadruple or anything. Uh, I'm not sure to be honest. I haven't read up about this. I'm, I, I, I don't know. Is it a quadruple? I don't think it's their triple because I've done their triple. It's from Chimay anyway. Let's let's get on with it. This is Chimay Blue, a uh, free 30ml bottle coming in at 9%. This was part of a pack, uh, red, white and blue, the glass for 20 quid. Uh, just says 2019, so I'm guessing it's one of their kind of special brews that they do or something. Uh, so yeah, uh, typical uh, Chimay uh, label a bit lost today and my reviews are awful today uh, typical Chimay or Chimay bottle cap uh, they, they basically all have the same design but just different colors do like the bottle what you can't see there you can see obviously you're gonna be able to see some embossed thing I would say uh, Scalmont Abbey or Abbey de Scalmont which is quite cool do like that so Chimay glass ready is this going to be a quadruple? Is it going to be a triple? Is it going to be something? It's not going to be barrel aged, but is it going to be something? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just talking shit now. So let's just get on with the beer review. Oh, well, that'd be good. Nearly caught me out there. I hope you've all had a good Friday. <laughs> this is looking rather dark, so I'm maybe going to go for the fact that this is a quad. I've not looked it up, so you know that's maybe a bit shocking. You might be looking at me in disgust uh, because of that, but I'm going to go maybe. If it is a quad, it seems a bit weak at nine percent for a quadruple. So I don't know. Maybe it's just a bit of a special brew they've done. Uh, so we'll leave it at that and we'll carry on. So in a glass, you're seeing almost. Almost jet black, I would say. I'm seeing a very deep chestnut mahogany colour. We got a finger of compact, sort of foamy head on top, I would say. I wouldn't say creamy. I'm not seeing any carbonation, but there's bound to be some going up. It's sort of like a, a hazy chestnut colour. Looks as you'd expect a sort of Belgian beer to look. They always look fantastic, Belgian beers. It's just a shame I ain't got a clue what the hell I'm reviewing here, really. But I'm 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 going to go with a quadruple. So, oh yeah, it smells lovely, sweet, toffee, caramel, yeasty. It's almost chocolate in there as well, I'd say which is not the sort of aroma I would expect to get from a, a Belgium sort of beer, the chocolate sort of thing. It's always sort of like toffee caramel sort of thing. Lovely dark fruit aromas. I'm gonna go actually with the aromas I'm getting off here. It's very much along the lines of a quad. Uh, it smells lovely though. It smells really, really rich and indulgent and and just beautiful really so without further ado let's dive in cheers everybody oh yeah again could be wrong uh maybe it's just extra aged or something i don't know i'm not sure amateur beer reviews from all the beer, no idea. Uh, but yeah, it, it's tasting like a quad for me. It's tasting very much like a quad. Aniseed, licorice sort of uh, taste in there. Body's quite thin. It's quite carbonated. I 
It's not rough in the mouth, the mouthfeel is nice, but you can feel that carbonation and it's not as smooth and as easy drinking as some. But the carbonation suits the beer. Uh, like I say, really smooth, really easy to drink. Rich. Slightly sweet. Slightly. But there's a lovely licorice bitterness in there. And that licorice taste is, is, is really nice. Um, Again, a little bit aniseedy as well. <clears throat> That's just me. That's not this beer. Rich, malty. Mm. Yeah. It's sort of sweet on the front end. Uh, you get that sort of yeastiness. For me, I would say chocolate toffee sort of thing on the front end. And then that back end, you're getting the licorice aniseed thing that really kicks in and then you're getting the bitterness off it. It's a beautiful beer, beautiful beer. And I would actually stick me, uh, the gold was nice. Uh, that's more of like a bog standard sort of blonde at 4.8%. Nice, easy, light drinking beer. Uh, the red was the brune. I'm correct. I could be wrong here. Certainly, red was the brew. That was really nice. Uh, not the best brew I've had personally, from my own personal tastes. But nice. But nice. It was, you know, it just had all the typical brew sort of things, and I think the only difference was it was different beers and all that. Just, just suit different people. The triple, I was disappointed with. I, I, I just couldn't get on with it. Too citrusy, too, too c citrusy bitterness to it. There's, it. It just didn't do it for me, really. Could appreciate it for what it was. Know a lot of people would have liked it, but this, this. Nine percent. Do you feel it? I would say you do. Uh, and I would say that aniseed licorice sort of bitterness on the back end rich dark sort of flavour on it uh, again it's, it's something that sort of enhances the percentage of a beer when you taste it for me 9% uh, you know it's boozy uh, to say it enhances it and makes it feel like 9%, I would say I'm probably lying there, really. But it certainly makes, you know you're drinking it. Uh, but yeah, what a beautiful beer. Very easy to drink as well, actually. It, it's very dangerous, this one for me. For my own personal taste, this is something that is a sipper. But if you like that taste and it appeals to you, it's one of them that you can really sort of chuck down your neck. And it's quite ironic actually, because I'm, I'm drinking some of these Belgian beers lately and getting the aniseed thing from it. And I'm not a big licorice eater or anything, but I'm really enjoying it in these beers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Shut up Baz. Nine minutes in, this beer again is another belter. Another one that I've really enjoyed, and for me, the best from the range. Uh, <coughs> the gold label one, easy drinking blonde. <coughs> Excuse me. Bottom of the range, if you like. If that's what you like, you're going to like it. Uh, if you want a light, easy drink, you go for the gold. For me, if you want something a little bit more substantial, a little bit more stodgy, a little bit more, ooh, a bit more, you know, with a pair of bollocks, if you like, this is a belter. Uh, 2019, this one. Wet, you know, I don't know how much difference there is. This is the first Chimay Blue I've had, so I don't know if there's a huge difference in the years, but uh, this one. <laughs> 
top-notch stuff. If you like this sort of stuff, pick one up for definite. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. That's all the reviews for tonight. Uh, please feel free to subscribe. If you want to be notified, there'll be a bell. Bottom of one of these corners, you'll see it if you're watching. There'll be a little bell that's not highlighted. If you want to be notified, click on that and uh, you'll be notified when I release a new video. I'm waffling now. I'm going to shut the hell up. You get back to your Friday night. Enjoy it and I'll see you again. Another beer review very soon. Cheers.